actually mandated by the California Public Utilities uh, Commission to take on this project in Moss Landing. As a result, big time renewable energy companies like Tesla stepped up to the plate. Moss Landing, it's known for bargain fruit stands, scenic views, and as the heart of the Monterey Bay. But soon, it may be known as the town with the largest lithium batteries in the world. PG&E is looking to add four of them, with the largest two located at the current Moss Landing power plant. If plans are approved, the company Vistra will have the largest of those batteries. It will be the single largest in the world. Meanwhile, Tesla's battery will be just the second largest in the world. It will be located on adjacent PG&E land. For comparison, currently the largest lithium storage facility is in Australia. It can hold 100 megawatts. If the four batteries in Moss Landing are approved, they'll be able to hold more than five times that amount. Now altogether, those four batteries have enough power to store 550 megawatts. According to the California Energy Commission, one megawatt has enough electricity in it to power 750 homes. Well, this is one step to get us into the right direction. Tom Habashi is CEO of Monterey Bay Community Power. He says this plant will be a huge help in solving California's biggest renewable energy problem. We make more than we use. And then you have to curtail it, mm -hmm. just shut it off. Last year, California lost more than 300,000 megawatts of wind and solar energy. He said storage facilities like the one proposed in Moss Landing gets renewable energy sources one step closer to being cheaper and more efficient. But there are still shortfalls to the technology. These batteries can only release power for four hours, which means they won't replace fossil fuels. They'll only supplement them on the power grid. If we are to do away with the burning of fossil fuel in order to generate electricity, we're going to need a lot more storage here in California. PG&E, if these plans get approved, if this would affect the rates for customers, here's what they told me. They plan to recover costs associated with this project through what's called cost allocation mechanism. That's the cost and benefits of new generation uh, projects should be shared by all benefiting customers. So not exactly a yes or a no. But probably. Yes, yeah. exactly. Right. Thanks, Christopher. Appreciate it. Projects are now under consideration by the CPUC. Could be approved within 90 days. If that happens, the first of the proposed projects scheduled to come online by the end of next year. The others by the end of 2020.